Antibiotics, anticoccidials, and supplements have been a tool available for the average livestock producer for more than a decade. But rising concerns from regulatory groups and consumers have drastically changed the poultry industry's sentiment towards these tools of the trade. Whether you raise birds antibiotic-free, no antibiotics ever, reduced use, or with a full spectrum of antibiotics, these conversations have impacted your farm in one way or another. Hi, I'm Alyssa from Southland Organics. If you raise poultry, you are no stranger to changes in antibiotic regulations. But you may have some lingering questions. In the last 10 years, this industry has seen some pretty dramatic changes, but where did they come from? Why did they happen and where are they headed next? I hope that in this video, I can help clear some of that up. In the poultry industry, not unlike other livestock industries, we often experience change in a response to combinations of regulatory action and consumer preferences. One of the driving factors in changing attitudes towards antibiotic use is the growing concern for antibiotic resistance that began to make waves around 2013. During this time, antibiotic use in animal production resembled something like the Wild West. Not because of negligence or malintent, but because antibiotics were a little misunderstood and very new. Things began to change when research started to report that bacteria that overlapped between animal health and human health were beginning to show resistance to common drugs used in human medicine. This risk prompted policymakers to push for new regulations over antibiotic use in food animals. Two of the big ones were the Veterinary Feed Directive, which required a veterinary prescription to include antibiotics in the feed or water given to food producing animals, and Guidance for Industry number 213, which went into effect in 2017, a year most poultry producers remember. This new law prohibited the use of antibiotics in livestock as a weight promoter. When these regulations began, major poultry companies made the leap to programs like No Antibiotics Ever and Antibiotic Free to both conform to new regulation and respond to consumer concerns as they began to learn of the threat of antibiotic resistance. For all intents and purposes, these programs worked. Consumer approval was proven by an increase in sales of products labeled NAE grossing $5.6 billion in 2021 compared to $1.8 billion in 2015. The U.S. Poultry and Egg Association even reports drastic changes in the use of antibiotics over all sectors of poultry in the last 10 years, especially in broilers where more than 52% of birds are produced under an NAE type program compared to 3% in 2014. But implementing these programs hasn't been without its challenges. Poultry farmers and integrators have seen the impacts that removing antibiotics has had on bird productivity and profitability for the grower and the integrator. Removal of antibiotic treatments at the level of the hatchery has increased mortality in the first week of life. No longer using antibiotics to promote growth has resulted in smaller birds or longer growouts for some. This change has even prompted a wider acceptance of other types of products that promote animal health and growth to make up for the loss of antibiotics. Our Catalyst Poultry Vitamins, Motherload Apple Cider Vinegar, and Big Old Bird Poultry Probiotic are three examples of this type of product. Although a significant portion of the poultry industry has adopted some form of antibiotic-free production, this is still a situation that's ever-changing. Most recently, one of the largest meat producers in the country announced their plan to shift from No Antibiotics Ever, or NAE, to NAIHM, No Antibiotics Important to Human Medicine. In a quote published by Watt Poultry, this company said this decision was made based on sound science and an evolving understanding of the best practices impacting the customers, consumers, and animals in our care. So what's the advantage of NAIHM over NAE? No antibiotics important to human medicine simply means that drugs that are commonly used to treat illness in humans will not be used to treat production animals. This type of production system allows producers the flexibility to treat sick animals while being respectful to the role that food animal production plays in the world of antibiotic resistance and the idea of our entangled health systems. In the ever-changing world of animal production, antibiotics have been a hot topic for more than a decade due to the connection between antibiotic use in food animals and antibiotic resistance. This has meant changes in farm management, changes in production, and changes in profitability for the average poultry grower. I hope that this video has helped you understand the decisions and regulations that have impacted you and your farm. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at alyssa at southlandorganics.com or alan at alan at southlandorganics.com. 
If you like this video and want to stay up to date on our content made just for poultry growers, give us a follow. And if you ever have questions about any of our products, you can reach out to Alan or you can call us at 800-608-3755. As always, thanks for watching.